Another chaotic week for the Conservative Party and the Tory government. There is a massive clash between uh, the local Tory members, candidates and backbench MPs and CCHQ, the Conservative Campaign Headquarters or Tory Central Office. This is about what's been going on, especially since Rishi Sunak became party leader and prime minister. There's been a very, very toxic culture inside the Tory Central Office for years and years. Some would say, especially since 2005. There was a bit of modernization that happened under David Cameron, but then the whole place became filled with uh, a lot of out of touch, posh liberal um, left-wing Tories, who a lot of them don't even actually understand what Toryism is about. And they've been controlling the Tory central office and they've been centralizing more powers. So local associations, local grassroots members have no say really. And now, absolute shambles. They've been messing up their own campaign literature, embarrassing their own local MPs and local candidates. This is now what we're dealing with. There's a massive civil war right now. We got uh, Sarah Atherton, who's an MP for Wrexham. Wrexham. She said, we are now a laughing stock after her campaign literature was focused, when they, were, when they printed it, it was focused on Gloucester instead of Wrexham. Gloucester. You got Gloucester here and Wrexham here. Not, not even similar. Very, very different areas, different priorities, different requirements, different voters. That's what we're dealing with. So that's one example. Actually, we have, a, we have the image of, from the campaign literature that it says, Wrexham News. Okay. So this is what the Tories have been producing, right? It's saying uh, 164 extra police for Gloucestershire. <laughs> Cutting crime is a top priority for local people. And it's a top priority for the government too. And on the left, 1,456 new doctors and 4,038 new nurses for the southwest. Gloucestershire. No, no, she's the MP for Wrexham. Wrexham. Oh, it, it gets worse. It, it is <laughs> they put uh, Richard Sunak's uh, tiny picture in the top bottom of the page with the top five priorities. Half inflation, grow the economy, reduce debt, cut waiting lists, stop the boats. Oh, you're so brave to put that on some sort of literature because uh, I can tell how local people are going to feel when they read that. Not really good. Anyway, uh, according to the sons uh, Jack Olson, he also talked about uh, the clash between other Tory MPs and say, the Tory central office. Virginia Crosby, uh, who's another backbench MP, has uh, the <laughs> another uh, neighbouring constituency literature. you got Jane Stevenson, who doesn't have her a free post address on her campaign literature. And we've got Matt Vickers, who is the deputy chair. He was also a young MP from 2015, uh, 2019 intake. Uh, he's been sent by the Tory central machine to uh, talk to the other MPs to calm them down. I mean, what? So they, they don't even, they can't even have direct conversations anymore. So they've sent out Matt Vickers, who's a new MP, to talk to the other senior backbench MPs who are angry saying, can you be our mouthpiece, because you're the deputy part, deputy chair of the party, and tell them that we are working on it. We are learning from mistakes. <laughs> Jack Olson also said that the cock-up is even more of a headache, as these are the, uh, the party's 80-20 seats. So these are the target constituencies that they want to defend at the next general election. CCHQ is paying to have Tens of thousands of leaflets distributed in these marginals. Tens of thousands of printed leaflets who are going to have the, the wrong content on them. Uh, some about the wrong constituency, some just about nonsense, and uh, some won't have the address on them. <laughs> this is the party in government, by the way. Wow. The most successful party in history, apparently. More uh, uh, despairing. For, uh, Tory MPs are getting in touch uh, with uh, Jack Olsen and the Sun. One of them says... This has happened so many times and it's unforgivable. It undermines morale inside the party, especially the grassroots, who are working so hard without getting any thank you from the, the, the top of the Tory central machine. And all you have to do is just be a yes man, be a puppet, deliver leaflets. And if you happen to be a woman or gay, you might be a candidate in the future. But you have to, you have to be so loyal, so... Um, well, not be independent-minded, basically, uh, because in the in the in the name of uh, teamwork, you just have to completely sell your soul 
to the Tory central office. Anyway, uh, we have uh, oh, <laughs> we have actually contacted the CCHQ for comments and. Uh, uh, two CTV has been ignored so far, and we're gonna keep you guys posted if we ever hear back from uh, the Tory party. Let me know your thoughts. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.